Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for uh, Thursday, April the 23rd. This is going to cover the homework uh, from our lesson working with lines of symmetry. So let's go ahead and take a look at those problems. Number two, um, we are trying to figure out if we have a line of symmetry. We do have a line that goes more or less through um, the middle of the shape from top to bottom, but it, these sides are not symmetrical, so that would be a no. Number four, again, we could make a line of symmetry if we went this way, um, or possibly even diagonally, even though it would look a little bit awkward um, to do that. Um, but going through the middle in this direction horizontally, um, we have more material on the bottom than we do on top. That would also be a no. Um, number six, they want us to complete this design. Um, so I'm going to attempt to freehand this. Um, so we are going to go down one, and then we are going to go over one, then we're going to go over two, then up one, then right, then down, then right, then up, then right, then down. And then it looks like we're going to go over two, diagonally in one, and then up, and we would shade that in. So that would be um, minus the part where I'm not going to shade it in uh, what our shape should look like. Um, number eight, they wanted us to write a word uh, with line symmetry like the word Ohio. Guess what? Um, if you remember my rules for the class, um, if they give you a word like this, I will let you use it because there's no point in taking the time to think of another word. So if I had done that, um, so here could be my O. I could have a line of symmetry going this way or this way. My H, it's going to make more sense because I have a line already going through the middle to make my line of symmetry this way. The capital I, um, which we talked about in the lesson, we could have a line of symmetry going this way or this way potentially. This one might actually be better now that I'm thinking about it because if I'm going to say that it makes more sense um, to go down because this one has a line going through the middle, we could argue the same thing uh, with going this way. So this one might be better. And then again, our O is going to be the same uh, as before, where we could go either direction, depending on if you make it correctly. I made this one more pear-shaped than a capital O shape. Um, all right, so on the back, uh, what word best describes the line of symmetry? We are going from the left to right. That would be horizontal. So I'm going to put an H for that. Um, and I got to take the time to spell it out. Um, and number two, does the shape show the correct line of symmetry? Explain. So it shows um, a line going through the middle of the shape, but it does not. So no. And the reason being is because we have a curve on this side that we do not have on this side. If we had drawn the line through the middle, um, horizontally instead of vertically. Uh, our vertical line doesn't give us symmetry, but our horizontal line, if we went through the middle, would give us uh, mirror opposites of each other. So those were the problems for the homework. Uh, if you have any questions, again, I should now be done with all of my errands. Uh, so I'll have more time. I'll have a new video for you on Friday um, that I will probably record on Thursday unless I get done really early with my appointments and stuff on Wednesday and have time to do it then. But I will probably use as much time as I can to answer any questions that you guys have um, and to be able to kind of talk with you guys and see how your week's going. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.